Okay, hello everyone. I hope that you are doing well. Just now there was the, 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 the students coming, and then she comes next to me. She passed and she's with her friend. She said, oh, why ja, why ja, foreign teachers. So it's, it's really tiring, I tell you. Huh? When, um, when you are here at the beginning, you don't understand and this is okay, you know, but when you are always, all the time, you know, all the time, you're walking down the street and you hear people say, oh, la -way, la -way. oh, look a foreigner, look a foreigner, look a foreign teacher, look a foreign teacher. You really feel you don't belong here. You really feel, I'm just a foreigner. I'm just a foreigner. They only see me as a foreigner. They only see me as a white guy. They only see me as a... So it's, uh, but I guess that's life. I shouldn't complain. It's just, uh, and anyway, uh, today that's a topic that I want to tell you a lot about the violence, violence toward the kids in China. Uh, so there are two things. One thing is the violence in school. Every now and then in China, you have some accidents. So you see a kid uh, in the kindergarten, in the high school, in the middle school that get beaten by the teacher uh, in many ways. Maybe uh, so there was the scandal, the big scandal that the kids were giving sleeping pills or they were even inject the kids like this. Uh, you have the kid who get beaten by the teachers, uh, forced to eat spicy food, uh, beaten like you see in the video, you know. So this will happen all the time. So first of all, why does this happen? Uh, there are many reasons. Uh, one reason is that, okay, the teachers who are over there, they are not qualified. They are not qualified. Uh, so they get the teachers uh, who have no clue, who have no... They are not, they are not fit to teach. You know, teaching is not easy. Teaching is not easy. And when you teach small kids, it's even more difficult. Uh, another thing is, uh, these guys, um, they don't get paid very well. Their salary is not so high and they have a lot of work, so they are a little bit... Um, you know. The third thing is, uh, especially when the kids are very young, they will have to do, to do the job of the parents. The kids, quite often, at home, will not get so much authority, so the kid will be a little bit uh, spoiled sometimes. And then the, at school, they will have to, to, break the, to break the kids, and they will do it, they will do it uh, this way. Uh, because uh, the kids are not taught any discipline, I can tell you in France, uh, you know, and this starts from the young age, you know. My mother, she often tells me, but when you are a kid, huh, in France, you know what they do, huh? the kid is crying, one years old, they let him cry, let him cry for one hour. And after that he will not cry anymore, because he's no, he knows, it's useless to cry, you know. Uh, I cannot get what I want, that's how, and so the kids are not going to be spoiled. Um, I never, I never was able to do this with my kid, never, because I feel I'm weak, you know, I, I hear him cry, I feel like, oh no, he's crying, I need to do something, and that's how I am, but in China, most parents don't do it, huh? most parents are very, they're also very weak with the kid, and it's not easy, it's not easy. Um, another thing is, uh, you have public school and you have private school, you know, uh, public school, usually, the teachers are more qualified, you have, you have a little bit more control, but private school, the level is very low. You know, another thing is uh, quite often, China is a very big country. So in the countryside, in many cities, uh, the schools are overcrowded. You have school with so many kids, too many kids. And even here, um, I was teaching once in some high school. I remember teaching them French. I had like 60 kids in one class, 60 kids. They were 10 years old, 60. It's really too many, too many children, 60 children at once. Uh, and they don't listen, some of them, and uh, I have no way to, you know, the only way is you have to shut, you say, hey, and you have to shut at them, that's the only way, you know, you have to do the authority, I wouldn't do it because I don't care, you know, I would say, okay, anyway, I'm just here to teach a French language, and I just come here a few days each week, so I don't care, and this is also what happened to me um, when I was at the university, you know, the other university. Donc voilà, très très bien, merci de cacher votre portable, là. merci de travailler, de vous asseoir au fond, hop. All these, all these uh, high, uh, university students, they were like totally irresponsible, you know. A, a, 18 years old, 18 years old uh, students, and they were behave like, uh, like kids, like little kids. So, um, uh, so it's not easy. Uh, and then the last thing, and that's something that I want to discuss a little bit more, um, that I have seen in China, is the education. There is a real issue with the education. Here, um, violence, you can see there is violence everywhere, you know. 
violence is the way. Um, you're not going to explain to the kid, don't do this because it's not good or why you, sh you should not do it. They will just start beating him. Don't do it! They will have a nervous breakdown. And I have seen this quite often. Huh? And once I was on the street, I remember there was a mother like this, and she took a broom and started beating the three years old kid. And she has a nervous breakdown, or I don't know, she started beating the kid. Like, what, what are you doing? You know? It's not going to help, you know? So they were shot, they were threatened, and I think this is typical of China. This is the kind of management, and I believe this is the, uh, this is, I don't know why, huh? it's the lack of education, maybe the farmers, the farmers way. Huh? I'm sorry to say this, and you, you can answer me in the comment section what you think about it. It's the farmer way. You don't do your job well, huh? you disobey me, I'm going to beat you, you know? Uh, it's like you are teaching some kind of animal, okay? If you are not doing it fast enough, I have to beat you, then you will do it faster. If you don't do the work, I have to beat you, then you will do the work. Uh, and, and in fact, uh, when you see for the adults here, quite often, the adults, they don't care, they do not care. The only way to make them do the good job uh, is to tell them, you don't do the job, you get less salary. Uh. You do the job, you get more salary. That's the only way, you know. And it, to me, it's, it's the violence, violence. There's no pedagogy, you see, a lack of pedagogy. In France, you will explain, okay, do it this way, because it can be like this and like that. The good teacher, and it's not easy, huh? But here, quite often, I see the violence. And the parents, it's how, also how they behave, you know. Uh, oh, the kid is crying, okay. I have to beat him, to teach him, okay. Uh, he doesn't do this, okay, he didn't get the good grade at school, I have to beat him. Maybe it used to be like this, the traditional education. I can tell you my mother, her parents were whip her, with the whip. You know, they had the whip, it's called Martinet, and they were to the blood, you know. The teachers will, will kick your fingers, they will ask you to put your fingers like this, and they will tap your finger. Uh, you have to stay in the corner of the room, you know, stay in the corner of the room and against the wall, you know, and humiliate it like this. The teacher at school will, will beat you, you know, and this used to be like this traditional education. And I think that's how it still it is in China, in many places. Of course, not in the big cities, not in the big stuff, but in the countryside. Whenever you have this scandal, most of the time it's the countryside, the countryside, or the countryside parents, or it's maybe in the big cities, but the, 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 the teachers, they are the ones who come from the countryside, and that's the way that they're raised, that they, they, they educate the kid, okay. Uh, okay, um, let me leave you for now. A bientôt les amis, don't forget, give me thumbs up, okay. A bientôt, take care.